That's why you see when a lot of fighters retire, they have a tendency to gain a lot of weight. Have you had a chance to watch Spadafora? I've watched him for years, yes. Uh, do, you, do you like what you see in him? I mean, obviously, he's had a, a chance to display his talent on the national scene. Uh, well, Chuck, for quite some time. Uh, the last couple of years, I've only been in Pittsburgh for three years. But it seems like every time he's fighting, it's a Showtime event. It's an HBO event. Uh, so at least on the, the national circuit, he's getting some notoriety. Well, right? that's the great thing about it. Because he, he has become an attraction because of his overall and local appeal. He's a major player. What about the decision to, uh, to go pro? And, and I mention that because uh, Verquan Kimbrough, who is from uh, Aliquippa here in Pittsburgh, uh, had made a decision. Uh, he's going to join us, by the way, live here on Sportsbeat at 7 o'clock. Uh, he's going to give up his Olympic eligibility, if you will, turn right. pro. Uh, you want a gold medal and then turn pro. Right. So he'll never get a chance to taste the gold. Can you understand maybe his decision-making process? We'll, we'll hear from him and maybe hear his reasoning. But right. looking back, for you, was it an easy call to make then? Well, the Olympics was my ultimate goal. I, I had no intention of turning professional. And the only reason I turned professional was to make money to pay my, fa hospital, my father's hospital bills. But Kimbrough, I mean, he, he has desires to be a professional fighter, a world champion. And um, he's, what, he's 20 years old, I believe. And mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've heard a lot about this kid. And I'd like to see him when he comes here. Can you understand his, his predicament when uh, you know, you're in your teens? I think maybe you were, you were a little younger. You were, what, 17 at the time? Well, actually, I was 20. Oh, you looked yeah. 17. Huh. <laughs> yeah, well, I, had a, I had a hair. The afro. <laughs> Didn't we all back in those days? Uh, and, and I was closer to his age back then. Um, but uh, is it a long wait? I mean, is it tough, especially when you're a kid? You know, you're, I'm fighting for the Olympics. I'm aiming for the Olympics. Uh, it was just so much. You know, he was number one probably too early for that goal. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, it's, it's a long climb and uh, you know two three years away it's a long time um, but I think that uh, if he has the right team the right people around him he'll be okay I've got to ask you about uh, women in boxing uh, there was a little situation earlier this week uh, with Muhammad Ali's daughter and